discussion between the commissioners on this request. <coughs> And, and getting to what everybody's uh, talking about, if we change it all to uh, M2, that it's going to stay that way, the, the uh, development authority is buying the property. So it's not going to be open for anyone just to just come in and buy a part of it. And you know, if, if this doesn't go through, I'm sure we can hold the development authority to the fire somewhat and say this needs to go back to its previous zoning. So now we'll get rid of possibly having to do what we're doing with this 24 and, or 26 and 28 or whatever. I think that we've already got, this is the second bite at the apple. I think we need to go ahead and they seem willing to work with us mm -hmm. and, and get this down here and evidently they want to be here and I think most of us want a good, good industry in town. So, you know, I think as long as the industrial authority is buying this property, and uh, then before it can, the zoning can be changed, they can change the zoning back if this doesn't go through. Then we're not right. But my question, if I can reach out, Jason, mm -hmm. is, is uh, I'm sure the authority will not acquire this property until it's on the dotted line. E Yes, sir. I mean, I, I feel pretty confident yeah. speaking with them. They're not going to want to buy this property unless this so, deal so, is successful. So it won't be there, so I think we need to revert back to what Commissioner Fulton is saying maybe, maybe add some additional language. Uh, okay. I was asking a question. Yeah. I'm sorry. yeah. <clears throat> Any discussion? Well, I just want to point out, that if you look at the current zoning map, and this is also partly an answer to some of the issues that uh, Gretchen brought up, the area that's currently zoned M2, which is to the north of the subject property, that looks like it's about 200 acres. I mean, it's quite a lot larger than the area that they are requesting to be rezoned. And I don't know if I would consider that spot zoning or not, but um, it is increasing already in existing M2 um, zoning. I just wanted to make that observation. No, I just I just going to uh, restate. I don't have a problem with the project. It's the process I have a problem with. If they don't want to take it into their confidence, at least I would suggest that they can invite the chairman and possibly the vice chairman. I, 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 I'll take your word. <laughs> I'll trust you. But uh, Ronald Reagan said, you know, we need verification to at least include our chairman. In, in these meetings, I mean, these are boards, and I know you put a lot of people together. You can include some planners too. Uh, that's all. I'm I'm all for it. I'm I'm ready to go. Commissioners, any other discussions? Are we ready for a motion at this time? If we are, I will be open to defending a motion. I move that we approve the entirety of the property, or recommend approval for the entirety of the property to be changed to M2 zoning with the following two conditions. First, in large part, the same condition suggested, but, but in recognition of all the property being suggested for him to, it would read, the use of the subject property shall be limited to the primary and accessory uses associated with a container manufacturing facility. And the second um, condition, uh, zoning shall change to M2 zoning simultaneously with acquisition of the property to be re rezoned by the Valdos Lounge Development Authority for purposes of Project MAX. Should said acquisition not occur or should Project MAX not occur as currently proposed, the zoning of the property shall remain EA until further application for rezoning. Okay. Before we go into further, Carmela, did you get all that in complete detail? <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, sounded like a lawyer dictated that, didn't it? So, <laughs> We have a very clear motion. We have a very clear second from Commissioner Wiles. At this time, all those wishing to vote in favor of the motion and the second, please signify by raising your right hand. It looks like that is a seven four. Anyone opposed? That's no. So it carries seven zero in favor of the request. Commissioners. I appreciate you coming out this evening. Yes. 7-0 or 6-1? I'm 
I believe I got a 7 no. Is that correct? Okay. Okay. I thought you said one in opposition. Matt, you Mr. showed up. I was going to late. Just pretty you good. came in late. We appreciate you coming, though. Thank you. I was in the <laughs> well, Commissioner, I appreciate each one of you coming out and having a special call meeting. Uh, thank you, audience. At this time, I will take a motion to adjourn. So moved. So moved. Thank you all. Thank you very much.